What's up guys, Asian here again with another PTS video and this particular video is just going to be focusing in on the Khajiit changes. Um, I did cover this in the PTS patch notes 4.3.3 video but I figured that a standalone video would do nicely to kind of be able to go into the, um, de uh, the details behind the mathematics as well as um, just if you are only interested in this particular kind of change then you can just reference this video instead of having to scroll through uh, all of the 4.3.3 video. So basically what happened in 4.3.3 was that the crit chance from Khajiits was changed to crit damage instead. So it was 8% spell and weapon crit chance and now it is 10% additional crit damage and critical healing done. So we're not really going to be covering crit healing. We're only going to be covering the kind of crit damage change and how that basically plays out whether it's a buff or a nerf. So very similar to the mathematics behind whether the thief or the shadow is going to be stronger, we basically use the exact same equations, only the numbers are changing. So on the left hand side you have the 4.3.2 Khajiit version, so basically you have 8% additional crit chance. On the right hand side you have the 4.3.3 version of the Khajiit where you have the 10% additional crit damage. And then you do the exact same thing, you basically do some algebra here and you come up with a fraction where x is equal to your crit chance, y is equal to the amount of crit damage you have. x over y in this instance would be equal to 0.08 divided by 0.1 or 0.8. So this is our base break even point. If we know one of these values, if we know our crit chance or we know our crit damage, then we can solve for the other value. Basically either the crit chance if we know crit damage or crit damage if we know our crit chance. Now we're going to be focusing in on crit damage, as in we know what our additional crit damage is going to be, therefore what is the break even crit chance uh, that we need in order to, the, to consider whether this is a buff or a nerf for a specific character. So very similar to the Thief in the Shadow, if our crit chance is greater than X, um, then the new Khajiit is a buff. So your Khajiit character, if it, their crit chance is lower than whatever our calculated, calculated value of X is, that is a buff for your character. If your crit chance, on the other hand, is lower than our calculated X, then the new Khajiit changes is a nerf for your character. So that's basically how we're going to be going around here. Now, do take note here that X is considered before you apply the Thief. So this is without the Thief applied at all. Uh, similarly, with the uh, crit damage, this is assuming that we don't have the Shadow applied at all. So this is basically with no Munda Stone at all. We're only taking a look at base crit chance uh, with, you know, set modifiers, things like that. We're not taking into consideration Mundus's or anything like that. So what we want to do is we basically want to set our crit damage value to some number that we know is going to be available to us. So for this first example, we're going to be setting our crit damage to 1.05. This is equal to 205 additional crit damage. So basically when you do a crit, you'll be doing 205 damage uh, times the damage you would normally do. So if you normally hit for 1000, if you have a 1.05 modifier, that means you're actually going to be doing 2050 damage whenever you crit. So your base crit damage is always going to be 50%, so 0.5. We're assuming that you have minor force up at all times, so that's 0.1. We're assuming you are a Nightblade or a Templar, you have that passive, so you get another 0.1. We're assuming that you have 20% in either Elfborn or Precise Strikes. Now this can go up or down, so you can adjust accordingly. And we're also assuming that major force is active, so it's in the first 9.5 seconds of when you first blow your Warhorn. So this gives us a crit damage of 1.05. So we set that equal to y, and we have our equation here. So x divided by y is equal to 0.8. So we just replace y with 1.05, and we get x divided by 1.05 is equal to 0.8. And then we want to solve for x, so we just multiply both sides by 1.05, and we get a value of 0.84. Now remember up here, we said that if our crit chance is greater than our calculated value of x, then the new Khajiit changes is going to be a buff for your character. So if your crit chance is higher than 84%, then in this particular situation, in this particular you know, you have Major Force active, you have 20% in your uh, appropriate CP, you're a Nightblade or a Templar, then it is a buff for your character. Now, if you take into consideration uh, Magicka DPS, your typical crit chance is probably going to be somewhere around the 60s to 70s, depending on whether you have um, Mother Sorrow or not. For stamina DPS, if you have two daggers and one of them is precise and you were wearing uh, Advancing Yokeda and you have all five stacks going, uh, you're actually going to end up being just a bit shy of this number here. So because our crit chance is always going to be lower than this calculated X, 
the Khajiit change is going to be a nerf across the board in this particular situation. So if you're a Nightblade or a Templar and you have Major Force active, this is going to be a nerf. Now, what happens if we end up dropping Major Force? So we say we don't have the Major Force buff active at all. So we just drop that additional 0.15 and we get 0.9 as our additional crit damage. So again, we go through the exact same equation. So X divided by 0.9 equals 0.8. We multiply both sides by 0.9 and we get a X value of 0.72. So at 72% crit chance, that is our uh, inflection point. That's our break even point on a Nightblade or a Templar without Major Force active. And again, if we take into consideration, you know, if we're a standard DPS running Advanced Yokeda with two daggers, chances are your crit value is going to be higher than this, assuming that you have full uh, Advanced Yokeda stacks and you have a dagger, two daggers. So in this instance, this new change would be an overall buff. And this is actually pretty what you would expect um, at the very least because if you have advancing Okada and you have all your you know your major your minor savagery and you're wearing two daggers even without precise you're probably sitting close to around 80 to 82 percent crit chance depending on whether you're a nightblade or you're a templar so this would be a buff in those situations for magic dps again your crit chance is typically going to be lower than the 72%. It is possible to get up to this point if you're wearing Mother's Sorrow and you have two crit uh, monster helm pieces. So you have something like Ice Heart, One Piece Ice Heart, and One Piece Zon or something. But generally speaking, it's going to be very difficult to get up to this point as a Magic DPS. So because we are lower than our calculated X, then this new change is going to be a nerf. And you can go on and go on with every other kind of potential situation here. So you can change how much you have Elfborn, you can change whether you're a Nightblade or a Templar, you can keep minor, Major Force, you can drop Major Force, you can take an average of Major Force. So you can say, okay, let's say I have 40% uptime on Major Force. What uh, is my average crit chance need to be in order to kind of consider whether this is a buff or a nerf? But I already have two other values here. So if we are not a Nightblade or a Templar and we have Major Force, then our break-even point is 0.76 or 76% crit chance. And if we are not a Nightblade and Templar and we don't have Major Force, then our break-even point is 64% crit chance. So you'll notice here that this is probably the only situation where Magic DPS will see this as a buff if you are wearing Mother's Sorrow. But in these other situations, it's pretty much always going to be Magic DPS are going to see a nerf with this change. Of course, again, if you're wearing Mother's Sorrow and you have two One Piece crit sets, then there is a possibility that you might be able to break this break-even point up here. Um, but generally speaking, that's not really going to be happening all too often in many situations. So in general, this change is going to be a nerf for most situations for Magic DPS. Again, the only situation where you might be this might be considered a buff is if you don't have Major Force, you're not a Nightblade or a Templar, and you're wearing Mother's Sorrow. For stamina DPS, on the other hand, this is generally going to be a slight buff overall. The only situation where it would not be a buff is if you are a Nightblade or a Templar and you have Major Force active. Um, that is really the only chance uh, where this is going to become a slight nerf instead. And again, this is assuming that you are running Advancing Okada. If you're not running Advancing Okada, let's say you're running Ravager or Briarheart instead, um, then in this instance, you will have to kind of figure out what your average crit chance is and then go from there. I believe with Briarheart, you, uh, if you are dropping Advancing Okada, I believe you are ending up, you end up losing, I want to say it's around 12 or 13% crit chance. Um, so you would actually usually end up being a small nerf if uh, you don't have major force active um actually no yeah this would be generally speaking a nerf if you're not running advanced yokeda except maybe for the situation here where you're not a nightblade or a templar and you're not using and you don't have major force active as a stamina dps not running advanced yokeda so that's basically how you are going to determine whether or not this is a buff or a nerf um so again the general formula is if you know what your crit damage is going to be or your your average crit damage you just uh, multiply that by 0 0.8 and that's you're going to be your crit chance if your average crit chance is higher then it's above if it's lower then it is a nerf so that is it for this video hopefully you guys found this informative please let me know down in the description uh, down in the comments below uh, whether uh, you need me to explain mathematics a little bit more again hope you found this video informative and i'll see you guys in the next dungeon